What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're working on the 1989 Corvette 350 TPI. We've been having an issue with the throttle position sensor. It went bad, so we put a new one on it. I put it on there and I didn't check it and it drove like crap. Like when you give it the gas, it would have a big hesitation. And so I've done some research on it and it's because I did not adjust my TPS sensor. I knew it was adjustable, but I did not adjust it. So let me show you how to do it. It's real quick and easy. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want more content with racing or Corvette stuff potentially. Hit that subscribe button, thanks. Uh, I don't know what all years they had the tune port injection, but we were fighting some issues. We just put plug wires on it. And so we got a new TPS sensor on it as well. So this is pretty simple. So let me show you, I've got the key on now. And what I did is if you, on each side of this, there's this little clamp here. If you pop that open, and this is welding wire, it's real thin, it's, uh, I think it's, I think that's 30 thousandths or 40 thousandths. Real thick welding wire won't go in there. And so the way this is, this is the ground up top here. The blue one in the middle is the sensor wire. The white one is the power. So we have to measure the voltage in between these two. Basically, it's a five volt sensor. Five volts comes in on the white wire, ground is the black wire and the blue wire is the sensor wire very important very important these wires cannot touch if these two wires touch then you burn out the sensor circuit on your your ecu most likely so this is kind of risky but this is the way i decided to do it it's not too bad though just keep them up and then you're good to make this adjustable these torque screws here are T25s. So basically, I'm gonna leave these out for just a moment. Uh, let's see, let's just let it sit there. And this is adjustable. The way this works is the TPS, this is the actual part of the, the voltage that actually gives it voltage. And it's linked directly to the throttle cable. So when you give it gas over here, then that makes it go. That tells the computer, hey, the throttle is opening and hey, we need to inject some fuel. If this is not adjusted correctly, what happens is if it's not, if it's adjusted too low, the value on this one from what it sounds like is about 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.57, somewhere in that range. And so then it goes up from there. The throttle move, according to it, if it's say at 0 0.25 or 0 0.20, if it's way too low, then you'll have a dead spot. And that's what we were having. It said you'd give it gas, it would start getting air, but it wouldn't give any fuel and it would like hesitate and then take off. And so that's what we're trying to fix. If this is adjusted too high, if this thing is cr too far up, which that's what it was a minute ago because I adjusted it and I didn't put my sensor on my gauge, then it idles too high. It revs too high because it's like, oh, the throttle's cracked open. We need more fuel. And so it gives more fuel and usually that takes the idle up or it could take it down, I guess. But in my case, it took the idle up. So let me show you real quick on, it's very, very simple. Remember this is, uh, five volts. So on your, your multimeter here, just put it on the low setting. I've got my, my little handy dandy uh, T25 torque wrench here. Uh, it's not the best one, but it, it, it works for what we're doing. So let me show you real quick. Hang on. Okay, so real easy. Like I was saying, guys, make sure these two wires don't connect, don't touch each other. Uh, so stick this in. And see, I've already got this thing loose, so it turns. So when you pull it up, then that adds the value so that increases let me show you so remember the top and the bottom let's see what numbers we get here 1.07 so that's clearly way too high so as we move this down if i had alligator clips then i could just move it and then show you but i don't so you gotta touch it so now we're at 0.69 so we're getting closer so let's see what we got here Okay, 0.36, so we went too far. So you see, and it will go all the way down to, it'll go down to 0.27. So we, the goal is, like I said, 0.54, to 0.56, 0.57. Of course, it's very finicky. 6.3, getting closer. 0.55, okay, so we're pretty close. So now we gotta tighten it up. And then hopefully it'll stay the same when we tighten it. And if it does move a little bit, then you know gently tighten these up and then go back and check it again. Let's see if it's staying. 0.54, so it went down a little bit. Okay, 
0.56 again now. So let's see if we can make it stay. Squeeze it too hard. I don't know what the torch pick on this. They're pretty small, so I wouldn't tighten them too tight. Let's see what we got here. All right, we stayed 0.56. So now we need to go wide open throttle. Let's see, I wanted to see something too. Um, and I'm using the sensor ground because sensor grounds are different than chassis grounds. But let's see what we got if we go to like the intakes. It was 0.56, it's 0.58. So it's a little bit higher if you use the ground that is not a sensor ground. So 0.56, so it's just a little bit higher. So now we got to go wide open throttle and see what it is. Um, it should be, I think they said four to four, four, I think four bolts it had to be. Um, now this is going to be challenging. Uh, my wife is holding the camera and I need her to also have a third hand <laughs> and go wide open throttle. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Where's your holder? That's what I was going to say here. Okay, so we got our handy dandy little holder here. Uh, Kelly, go wide open throttle to the floor. So we're making sure, okay, that is that all the way to the floor? Let off? Okay, push it really hard. Kind of wiggle it around a little bit, see if it goes all the way. Okay, yeah, do it again, let off, do it again. Okay, so we are going wide open throttle. Okay, let off. So now we're gonna check the voltage and see what it goes to. So it should still be on point, 0.56. Okay, it's on, now it's on 0.58. Okay, go slowly to the floor. Is that wide open? Yeah. Okay, that's 4.16. So it said that it had to go over four volts, I think it was, and it would do the full enrichment. Okay, let off. Now go all the way fast to the floor. 4.16, there you go. So that is how you do it. So it seems to be working. And just in time for that to go off, I guess it was on too long. So it is still set at 0.5657. And now all you do is pull these out and then clamp this back down. And now you have a properly adjusted TPS sensor.